PBL stands for problem-based learning and we use it here at the Yale PA online program because of its benefit in allowing students to learn how to apply material. We use it as opposed to just a pure lecture-based curriculum because PBL actually engages the student. So welcome everybody to another uh, problem-based learning session. Mr. Johnson is an 18-year-old, uh, presents to your office complaining of recent onset of abdominal pain. We start all patients out or all students out with a patient with a chief complaint. So maybe it's abdominal pain. They then have to generate a differential diagnosis and that's what leads to what questions to ask, what physical exam to do, and what labs to order. We'd like to ask you a few questions about your medical history just to understand if there's anything there that might be contributing, if that's okay. Sure. Um, so um, what's the last thing that you ate? Um, um, I eat really healthy. Um, I had a um, smoothie uh, this morning before I went to go play tennis. It's not just follow this rote memorization, but it's application and asking the right questions, doing the right physical exam, and doing the right labs to come up with the answer. You definitely want to just inspect the entire abdomen first, look for any... So it's very student engaging, it's very student interactive and it allows for the application of material they are getting in lectures and shows how that material is applied to solving problems in the real world. Uh, on inspection, the abdomen is symmetric, skin is smooth without striae. So now you would um, auscultate? With problem-based learning, some students get the right answer, some students get the wrong answer. And while that's important, that's not really the centerpiece for problem-based learning. The centerpiece for problem-based learning is the approach. It's working through the problem so that if you come in contact as a student, as a clinician in the future with a problem, you know how to approach it. I've been doing problem-based learning for a long time and I still I have a lot of graduates out there who have done PBL and they, whenever they run into me or I talk to them, they tell me how beneficial this was, how it helped them learn to problem solve, not just to approach problems that they were taught in the curriculum, like abdominal pain or chest pain, but how to approach problems they've never seen before, how to take a new scenario, a new set of symptoms, and work through it using these same steps that they learned in problem-based learning. 